25 News reporter Lisa Pappas continues our team coverage from the control room now. And Lisa, you learned tonight about the digital alarms controversial Google searches send off. And yeah, this digital evidence brings into question how your information stays on the Internet, how long it'll be there, and even if you delete your history. In Brian Walsh's case, disturbing Google searches could play a big part in his murder case. Brian Walsh was charged Wednesday for killing his wife, Anna. A lot of the evidence laid out by prosecutors included more than a dozen Google searches on how to dispose of a body after his wife went missing. Whatever you do uh, has the ability to come back uh, to haunt you. You know, so be careful what you put out there. Boston College professor Kevin Powers is a cybersecurity expert. So can you never fully delete your search history in your browser? You can, but it's going to take time. Right. So per Google, if you delete your account right now, it's going to still stay in place for at least 30 days. Power says even after clearing your history online, Google can hold on to your information for six months. Remember that whatever you put out there, uh, you might not have absolute control over it. Prosecutors and police had to go through several steps before even accessing that Google history on Brian Walsh. First, they needed a search warrant for his house, then a warrant to seize those devices like his son's iPad and another warrant to search Google. So we have this stuff. You know, we have these devices. How do we know it was the suspect in this case, Brian Walsh, who actually did those searches? Brad Bailey is a former prosecutor. He was also a longtime criminal defense attorney. That evidence alone, what was in those, in those devices, is not sufficient to sustain a conviction of murder. But taken all together in what is a circumstantial case, and that'll just be another piece in their chain of proof, and it'll be the defense job to try to break up that chain. Bailey says even though there's a lot of circumstantial evidence in this case, including those digital searches, that can be just as powerful as DNA evidence to convict someone of murder. Live in the control room, I'm Lisa Pappas for your local station, Boston 25 News. Very interesting, Lisa. Thank you for your report.